Hello, yeah, it's a share your rocks and Harvey a in this year. I don't let in this lineage a yard, but it's eating the ain't need or might this give me a bushes chain to Najini a dish a tray, put something a dish another. But at the end, a yard, then you see that Nasha and the look at your gay a yard in the yard, the dog at a yard, a quiet silly kid up with it. Though she has to get a share hello, not in the car, chin hello, could I a yard make it get down with this scene. Um, hello again. I'm going to go ahead and um, translate that into English. My name is Roxy Ann Harvey. I'm of the Bitterwater clan, born for the Coyote Pass clan. My maternal grandparents are Black Streetwood people, and my paternal grandparents are the Big Water clan. I'm originally from Twin Lakes, New Mexico, but was brought up in Luca Jigay, Arizona. Uh, currently reside here in Sayle with my husband and our children. And so with that, I'm going to start off with that intro introduction um you know as indigenous people it's always important to provide your your um introduction in that way so so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and start off you know give you some information of what inspired me and what motivated me to be a recording artist um i became a recording artist uh five years ago I came out with my first CD and that's called Songs of a Mother's Love. And that was dedicated to my children. Um, and so with that, I was able to get the experience of, you know, being in a, in a studio and recording and putting our songs together and the production part of it, it was a really good experience. Um, and, and so with that, it was, um, the message behind the CD itself was to really capture our younger children. And it has a lot of the, um, you know, early development um, kind of lullabies in there. And so that was kind of the focus point was um, kind of comforting our children. So that was um, my message and what I wanted to get out there um, as a mother. Um, and so it being in the entertainment, I think I'm going to say about 10 years, 10 years plus I've been doing this and um, I became a, uh, a singer. Um, well, I guess in a way I didn't really know that I had the talent. It's just I went through some some struggles in life where I was dealing with many different things, um, depression, anxiety, and then also at the same time, I was trying to find myself, trying to be able to get through this darkest time in my life. And, you know, with all that happening, I became a single mother to my oldest three children. And I think that was it. That was really when I started um, trying to reconnect and I had to find a way to to get to my children you know to really kind of almost like redeem myself to them because I've hurt them in many ways and being a young parent it 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 you know put me in different um, positions and it's really kind of hard to talk about um, owning up to a lot of things admitting to a lot of things, you know, at that age. Um, but this today, currently, I feel like it was through singing, it was through the comfort of songs and composing these different songs and really reconnecting with my children in that way. So that kind of motivated me to um, compose songs. And a lot of my songs relate to you know, just current events, um, children, um, family, our people, our dinner people, healing, and a lot of those, my songs are, are composed in that way. And then um, I think my purpose as an artist is really to help those who are seeking that comfort, who are looking for a way out to show them that, you know, me, where I was at one time in my life, you know, coming this far, you know, I've learned about myself. 
I've learned about being a mother, you know, and of course being a daughter, being being a um, a wife. I've learned so many things, and I and this this singing really helped me to to find that. And so I think that's that's who I am as an artist. In it could be so many other things too, but I don't want to go on and on and continue to to talk about you know um, just the more important stuff is what I wanted to share with you all today. And then um, shout out to the Native Youth Council. Um, I've been following a lot of what you guys have been doing out there. You know, as young as you guys are, um, you guys amaze me. All the work that you guys are doing, and um, my um, nephew, uh, Mr. Ian Teller, you know, he's um, reached out, and I was more than willing to help him with this project. And so I'm gonna go ahead and share some songs here and. As I complete the songs, I'll kind of talk about it and let you guys all know where it came from, what motivated me to to compose that song. And so I'm going to start off with this first one here. That song is was dedicated to my grandmother, my late gra grandmother. Her name was Ruth Mike, and um, she was one of one of the women who actually really inspired me and motivated me to to be who I am today. You know, with her teachings and my grandmother's, her teaching was very, very harsh. Very, she was a very blunt lady. She never, you know, beat it around the bush in any way. She always told you as it is. And um, and so with that, she left a lot of good teachings and she never showed her weakness in any way. And, and so with that, you know, I that song is saying, you know, my grandmother had left the teachings and that's, that's who I am today. And that's how I carry myself today. And so that song is, um, was made for my, my, my late grandmother, Mr. Mrs. Ruth Mike. 
And um, <clears throat> so, and then I'm also using this um, contemporary hand drum. A lot of the um, the other nationalities, I mean, not the nationalities, I'm sorry. The indigenous people, they use these like for um, round dance and things like that. But I use a lot of this just because um, it's for me, you know, how diff our teachings and stuff uh, that we have as in a people um, having a water drum um, is only for our male to 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 use to to take care of. And so with that, I had I have not yet purchased one, um, but you know, I guess when the time comes, my husband can help me out in that way to be able to when it's time to perform. Um, to take care of that drum for me and to to get that fixed up. Um, so in the meantime, I use a contemporary hand drum um, when performing. So here's another song that I'd like to share. <clears throat> So that song is, um, <clears throat> I composed that song right around when COVID hit. And, um, you know, at that time, it was pretty scary. It was a pretty unexpected event that had took place. And at that time, um, you know, I was thinking along, thinking about our people, our Diné people. And um, <clears throat> we were trying to, you know, really help our people get through what they were going through at the time and so this song is actually um saying you know here within the four sacred mountains we were here as the net people were here and 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 that we would be okay that you would be with us you know our the holy people that you would be with us you will watch over us and that you know at the end everything would be okay and that's kind of what that song is saying and that's what that song is um um, I composed that song in, in, in that way was thinking about our Diné people. And, um, <clears throat> and so those were some songs I wanted to share 
with with you guys um, just today, this evening. Um, like I said, I am I am waiting on my nephew to really kind of guide me to help produce my next coming album. And I'm really excited for that because I'll be, that will that album I'll be future, featuring my daughter, um, and she also sings as well. And so my little family that I have, we kind of all like singing, and it's our way of just you know connecting, loving each other, growing together in that way, and just comforting each other in that way. Because we, as a family, went through so much so much um hardship within these past years and this is what really helps us to heal really helps us to continue to um that that saying of there's a light at the tunnel you know those kind of things when when time gets tough for us as a family and i know there's many families out there who who struggle in that way um but last and then most importantly um Thank you again so much, Native America, um, Native Youth Council, for all that you do, all that you stand for. Um, and then my word of encouragement to the youth out there is really find yourself, find your purpose. You're the only one who knows. You're the only one knows your strength and your weaknesses, what makes you feel happy, you are the only one that can define that. And so I think when you find that talent, when you find that purpose in life, whether it be education, whether it be pursuing um, a singing career, or maybe it's um, in the entertainment business, or maybe it's professionally, or whatever it may be, you know, I really encourage you guys to follow it follow your dream because nothing can ever stop you but yourself. And I think times can get very tough, of course, especially in today's society, what we're dealing with, with different things that are happening. You know, you can get through these trials, you can get through these hard times, knowing that you have a prayer, knowing that you have a song, knowing that you have this identity of who you are, knowing that your parents and your, 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 your grandparents had left something for you and you follow those, those are your motivation to become who you guys are. And you guys are already doing it. You guys are already in that leadership role and you're guiding our children, you're guiding the youth in that direction. And it almost, I can almost see that what you guys' intentions are in, in this world, if we can have more and more of our youth to get involved, we can, I can see a better place for the younger ones, you know, our babies that are just now growing. And so again, thank you for all that you do. I encourage you to do more and more because you all have that in you. You all have knowledge, wisdom, understanding. And I want to encourage you guys with that. And I want to leave you with that. I'm a Mike Dishkijni. I'm Coyote Pass Clan. And so we can talk and talk and talk, but I'm not going to go there. I'm going to leave it um, at that and hopes to see you guys later on down the road. Again, my name is Roxanne Harvey. You will see me on websites, hopefully soon, um, in social media and being active, you know, being that person to be able to um, talk for the youth, to be able to talk for parents. Uh, be an advocate for um, those who may not be able to speak for themselves. And that's what we're doing. That's our mission. And so together we can make this world a better place. Ahia.